Oh, hey, a turret. A glue turret. No. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, turret. Activate turret. Whoa. Glue him. Glue him. Did, did you get him? Oh, you did. Hello one and all, Mickey here, Surviving RNG, and welcome to a quick look at Prey Mooncrash DLC. Mooncrash is a sort of challenge run DLC. It isn't directly tied to the story of Prey, although there's no doubt going to be logs and messages you can find in this that will relate to what happened on Talos 1. But this DLC, as I said, is more of a challenge run style gameplay, in that you have different characters you can choose from, each with different abilities and stats, and each have their own goals and methods of escaping this moon base that you're on. Now good news is, depending you know on your opinion, this game mode is technically Iron Man so when you die the run ends and you're scored and you start over. But bad news is you can't really choose your difficulty, there, there is no difficulty options. So <laughs> whereas my playthrough of Prey was impossible mode, basically the highest difficulty nightmare, Prey Moon Crash will simply be Iron Man because it's Iron Man by default but there's no difficulty option to select higher than just default. Which is a real shame because either with this DLC or at some point in the past, Prey did receive a few updates, including New Game Plus, which is as you'd expect New Game Plus to work, but I don't know why you'd ever want to try it, seeing as the game itself doesn't get any more difficult. You just restart the game with all of your upgrades and so on, but the game itself has also reset, but the enemies, there aren't more of them, they're not tougher, they don't deal more damage, so yeah, I'm not really sure why you'd go for a New Game Plus if that's the case. Maybe if you wanted to max out your character and experiment with other side abilities that you never had a chance to use, or Typhon ability, should I say. But they also added a so-called in inverted commas survival mode or survival mode toggleable difficulty settings and no guys this isn't actually a survival mode you don't need to eat or drink to stay alive but what these three options add are traumas which are semi-permanent injuries where you have to use a med kit or a med bot or med operator bot to heal this injury that might affect you that you might get during combat or walking through fire or falling too high a distance that kind of thing but seeing as most people that play the game either heal themselves with a med bot or medkits anyway, I don't really know what this adds to the game, not to mention you can pause the game at any moment, go into your inventory and use a med pack. So again, I, I, see, I see what they're going for here, but with the game designed as it is, it doesn't really add a lot. Then you've got limited oxygen, which only applies if your suit takes damage when you're out in the void of space or if you're in a vacuum on the station. But again, like with the injuries, you should have tons of suit repair kits. The moment your suit takes damage, use suit repair kit, you're going to stop losing oxygen. And the last one is, which I'd imagine a lot of people would hate, but I don't really mind, is weapon degradation in the style of System Shock 2. Now that's not that bad, but again, with the economy of the game, there is so much in abundance, even on the highest difficulty settings, that finding or making weapon repair kits really shouldn't be an issue. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be interesting to play the game again with all those three settings on, but there isn't a higher difficulty setting past Nightmare. It's, you know, Nightmare plus the survival options of weapon degradation, trauma injuries, and limited oxygen when your suit gets damaged. So yeah, enough about vanilla play and its updates. Let's focus on Moon Crash and let's get started. This is Basilisk. Hello. Hello. This is Basilisk to Gasmo Module 13. You can't we are sending anybody. two classified pieces of technology we recovered from Transtar's moon base. They should be arriving in a few moments. One is an operator containing a backup of the base. It's a simulation of all the research data, company secrets, and connectomes from employee brains. We picked you because it's protected by a lot of encryption. So I'm a hacker, maybe? Fortunately, it comes with a looking glass visor, so you'll be able to search the sim visually. That is convenient. You'll be plugging into the moon base as it was, seeing it through the personnel that was stationed there. There's a lot to do. I'm sending your orders along so you can check them off as you go. Okay. Oh, and congratulations. I am pleased to inform you that executing these orders will fulfill your contract. After you recover the data, we're going to pick you up. So great news. You'll be with family soon. Yeah. Okay, I'm 13. You're the expert. The delivery is dogging now, so I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Transport Basilisk. Craft African PKTL 17. Commencing docking procedure. Okay, so the Please new pharaohs. Don't know if this is a new book, but you're welcome to read it. Likewise with the Starbender Cycle Book One. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is an old book that we found on Talus One. And messages. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. So, 
we are with Chasma Corp, apparently, and our contract is coming to an end, but we are required to fulfill whatever objectives we're given, and if we don't, that could risk our contract being extended. So I kind of get the impression that we're under the veil of the volunteers, as they were on Talos 1, where we're not exactly here completely out of our own free will. And congratulations, we got delivery from home, a flower from our wife's garden. Was that it? Oh, including a flower from our wife's garden. Really chipping away at that contract. I kind of get the impression that uh, this is kind of a punishment. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we, we don't need that. Why, why, would, why would we need a little spade thing? Can't remember what they're called. It doesn't seem right. It does not seem right up here. Maybe this this scary looking, looking doll is part of it. So that's Earth, the shuttle. Is this a moon base or is this where we are stationed right now? Not sure, but let's get that delivery. First, we have got the looking glass visor. Plonk it on. Oh, looks looks very healthy, very safe. And here we've got an operator. Plug it in. And let's pick whose memories we're gonna sift through. Okay, so we have five people eventually to choose from, starting with the volunteer, Andreas Aleka. We've got director, Riley Yu, which I'm, given that it says her connections with the family, I'd imagine she's like Morgan and Alex's cousin. She's not their mum, that's for sure. Then we have got security officer, Vijay Batia, and then custodian, Claire Witten, and engineer, Joan Winslow. And each have different starting items, different stats, different possible upgrades they can get. As you can see, most of the Typhon upgrades are actually locked until we find a psychoscope of which Riley here starts with one and we scan the Typhon to unlock them but that will unlock them permanently for everybody here. The security officer can only use the human tree. The custodian can't use anything at all. It's actually quite kind of curious. Be interested to try a run with her. Then the engineer can make turrets and has a bit, bit more variety. But I'm, I'm interested in doing a run with the custodian. I was always intrigued in doing a no upgrades run with Prey, but I don't know. It's For me, that would be like playing Dishonored without using any of the upgrades. The game was kind of designed to use the upgrades and not using them is you're limited how much fun you're going to have with the game. I'd rather the game limit my abilities, making the game more difficult as opposed to me limit them myself. So playing as a custodian, I'm sure is a great challenge, but playing like the entirety of Prey without doing any upgrades. I don't know if I can manage that. Just, I don't know if I have that willpower. I, just, I can't. Anyway, let's just go for the volunteer. Let's get started. Yeah, yep, yeah, go. And here we are. Attention all Pythia's crew members. This is an emergency broadcast. Please report to designated escape pod stations and prepare for evacuation. If you are unable to reach an escape pod, security will track your position as they conduct a final sweep before launching. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Well, fun fact. I took damage from that. Oh right, because these things are on fire. Yeah, fun fact, when I when I first did the trial run here, I didn't realize there was a wrench on the ground. Went to pick up a box just to mess about the controls. It was a mimic. It killed me. So what I've noticed, at least initially with this, although you're doing runs with different characters through a set area, the enemies don't appear to be random, which is actually a massive missed opportunity. If you want to do challenge runs with different characters and different loadouts, you expect not to have the exact same enemies in the exact same places. Now, I do know you can do multiple runs as one character. So when you get to the objective, you can go back and start over and then the enemies get more and more difficult. But even so, starting out a run, knowing that there's going to be a mimic here and a mimic over there, uh, I don't know, not, not really a fan of that. Anyway, we've got fabrication plans for science pistol and the keycard to get out. And yeah, the fabrication plans, Captain they stay... Detected. Hello. Through your playthroughs. So this character found it. When you go to play as another character, or when you die as this character and start over, you will st still have those fabrication plans. And hello. No Typhon detected. Yeah, these doorways, they don't let you through if a Typhon has passed through as a means to prevent... You know, what happened on Talos 1. So yeah, we're clear here. Grab, grab what we can, thank you. And here we are. God, the gravity. I get we're on the moon. Wow. Okay, whew. Really? Can't lift that with, with lunar gravity? 
what is it, like less than 10% out of Earth's and you can't lift that box? I know this guy's feeble and experimented on, but damn, do you even lift, bro? Stuff down here, maybe? Hey, hey, what we got? Suit repair kit and parts as well as, uh, wait, what was that? Derma web skin graft to heal burn traumas. Oh, okay, so it's not a simple case of using a med kit to heal traumas. As I was told on one of the big mainstream gaming websites. Yeah, med kits heal whatever traumas you get. Really, is that the case? Because the game has already told me that that's wrong. I see stuff. Nope, you're good. And loot. Suit repair kit and random junk. Oh, hey there, buddy. Yeah, you, you don't look too good. More random junk. Yeah, whenever you find corpses, you get a... Ooh. That's not a good sign. Random stuff falling. You get points. Med kit, thank you. I'll need that. And more junk. I don't think I have the strength to pick that up and throw it with enough force to explode. Although, let's find out. What's the worst that could happen? Nope. Didn't think so. Now, I'm pretty sure... You? Nope. Nope. Yep. Yeah. And you. Thank you. Okay, well that should be this area clear. If it's not, this thing will tell us and it won't let us through. Two Typhon in range. Whoa, hello. Get back here. Get back here. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Hello. Thank you. So one more Typhon in range, apparently. Yep, one Typhon in range. Won't let me through otherwise. Oh, there it is. Whoa, easy there, buddy. That did a hefty amount of damage. Let's have something to eat. A ration, maybe. There you go. I think I wasted two or three health points of food, but it's fine. Clear to go through. Thank you. And I didn't actually get any further than this, so I have no idea what's beyond this point. Which is probably for the best, although probably also going to get us killed. Hey, pistol. Thank you. Just in time, because I hear a... Typhon. What is going on over there? Why does that look so glitchy? That's weird. I'll have to see that in a second. I wonder if that's part of the simulation messing up. Typhon lore. Junk and Typhon lures. Until those kill towers are working, Typhon lures are still our best bet for drawing them away from the gates. I already put in a requisition for the lab takes to fabricate more. Yeah, never really liked those Typhon lures. Although, I wonder if there are any hazards around here I can lure them into. Junk and more junk. Sound like it's coming from over here. See a corpse there. Oh, it's this force field. That's what's causing... Oh, not. No. No, it is a simulation. What the hell's going on here then? Am I gonna... Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what spotted me? Am I gonna die getting through here? Who spotted me? Oh, hello. Oh, you're gonna be a bugger, aren't you? That is a reaver. We've got a reaver already? How am I gonna kill it? Oh, that is going to be a problem. Not Reaver, or Weaver. There you go. Let's just go through it. If we die, we die. No, we can't get through. Okay. I'm guessing we have to unlock that area through somebody else's memories. Oof, that's weird. Let's avoid you. We don't really have a way of killing you. Not without a bunch of alcohol. In fact, how many bullets have we got? Ah, yeah, not a yeah, decent amount. Let's find out who this Typhon is over here. Oh, who saw that? Ah, oh, you're fine. What you got? Junk. That's cool. Given how slowly you're moving, buddy, I would say that you are a Typhon. I mean, a Phantom. Oh, hey, a turret. A glue turret. No. Oh, that's awesome. Very, very handy. What's that? Just a stand for the turret to go on. Cool. Oh. Oh, no. Turret. Activate turret. Whoa! Glue him! Glue him! Did, did you get him? Ah, oh, you did. How about we heal? Oh god, this seems like a terrible idea. Oh, I... I um, let's, let's not heal for now. Are you... You're not dead already, Kay. Thank god for that. I know, buddy, I know. Actually, I wonder if the glue gun will be good for you. Get in range, glue you, and then kill you? Oh, but I like the idea of a glue gun. That's quite cool. Please, game... Give me some food. Medkit. Let's not heal up yet, though. Oh, glue gun. Okay, cool. 
That is something. Yeah, I know how to use a glue gun game, thank you. Another blocked off area over there. Oh, hello. There you are. How about we get this glue gun into play? Although turrets never fare well against phantoms. Alien Birdie! Detected. Thank you. Can I? Wow, effective. Very effective. I guess the glue from the glue turrets are, oh my god, hello, are much more effective than the glue that we use. Or at least I guess they're fully upgraded. Oh, activate, activate, activate. Uh, I don't think you got him. Oh, thank god you did. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, wow. Okay, so this, hold on. So there is weapon degradation here, by default. And given the fact that we found a apply to burn area kit, whatever it's called, that means the traumas are in effect. So in this mode, all of the survival mode settings are activated from the get-go. And you, my friend, are dead. That's cool, I like that. Can I activate you? Nope, I can loot you. Thank you, a destroyed harvester. And what is that, EMP charge is fine. And a ballistic turret. Yes, I will take you, I need you to kill that weaver. Because if I remember correctly, that weave is not going to be able to do much to you. That will do, although I hear a phantom behind us. Can I just boop you right now? Yeah, hey, why don't you come on over here, buddy? Oh, yeah, I hear that phantom. Hey, harvester over there. Where's that phantom? I need to tag you. There you are. Can I shoot you? Thank you. Now, that loot's not going to disappear anytime soon. And can I also just boop you again? I'm not, I'm not doing any damage. That's cool. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. Wow, already. Hey, buddy, turret, do you think you can get a bit closer and, and uh, actually attack? No? No, you don't fancy it? No? That, that's cool. Hey, that, that's fine. That is a-okay. Yeah, seriously? Seriously, turret? You, you're not going to... Look, he's right there, turret. Right there. Right there, turret. No? Seriously? What, do you not have ammo? Okay, turret, there we go. Okay, perfect. Look. Shoot from here. There we go. Go nuts. Now hopefully they can't reach you there. You you can't you can't reach him, can you? Alien You know what? Fine, come here. Come here. Yeah, go go there. Now I'm gonna leave you doing that. And I'll be back later. Let me know when you're done. Okay? Bye. Oh. Oh, hey. Dead. Nice work, turret. I guess I could have found a way to use these. Nothing on there. Nothing in there, no? Nope. Oh, we still got these things around. Yep, there they are. They see us. Yeah. Whoa, God, they fly. Whoa. Let's use the med kit. Thought they only rolled. Supply crate. Organic material. I can hear more of those cystoids around. How do we get onto the roof? Yeah, kill it, please. How do we get onto the roof from there, maybe? Okay, let's go. Nope, that, that wasn't a jump. There we go. Got your stuff, as well as a turret fabrication plan. I do like that there are now different turrets. That's kind of cool. What is this down here? I see you. Another wrench. Hello. You don't float over here, do you? Yeah, you do. Why are you floating, buddy? Whoa! There we go. Yeah, I hear you. No, no. Actually, actually die, though, buddy. Come on. So, do wrenches break? No. Melee weapons do not break. Hmm. How do I grab your attention? Hey, look. A rock. Go get the rock. There we go. So, what else do we have? Oh. Pills? Oh. What? Oh, there's just debris falling. Okay, sure. That freaked me out for a second. That is it for loot, I guess, around here. Man, I find the sensitivity so weird. I haven't played this game in such a long time. What about the ground floor? No loot. And I am going to have to take the turret with me, because I feel it will be very, very useful. Come on, then, buddy. You did very well. Daddy's very proud of you. That's not creepy at all, is it? Turret, just, just sit tight, like, right there. Actually, you can... There, maybe? That'll do. Tires have a problem looking downwards, but screw it. You can sit tight there. At least I'll see you and be able to know where you are. Man, I really wish I had a speed upgrade. And what the hell is this? Mining, I guess? 
doesn't look like things have gone too well. But I see loot. Maybe. Go up here. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. And Neuromods. Yes. Okay, so what can we get? Psionics. Psionics. And food. And then just Psy abilities. I kind of think... Hmm, I think this is going to save me more health. Every time I take damage, I'll heal 10. Yeah, let's just go for this. It's kind of boring, but we're going to get another Neuromod soon. And the sooner we get this, the better. Go. What is the worst that could happen? Ah, oh, good old times. Oh, let's hope we don't have to do that animation every single time. And then we've got this squeaky dart gun, which will come in handy. All right, and this guy not being able to do the human upgrades means I'm not going to be able to upgrade my inventory space. That is a shame. Oh, and I've got to remember that I can use a glue gun to climb things. Man, it's been such a long time. It's almost as if I've forgotten how to play. Another cutoff area. Whoa, who spots me? I don't see it. Yeah, somebody definitely... Oh. Oh! Bad turrets. Or bad operators. Oh, that's fine. I will glue you when you get close. And yeah, can't get in here. Oh, God! I didn't realise they were so close. Guys! 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 Bad operators! Oh, that worked. I mean, it hurt, but it worked. And I healed! Hey! Yeah, cool. Can I please not have the grenades number three? There we go. And also, youth whichever one is more broken, which is that one. There you go. And also, because I'll never get the ability to dismantle objects in my inventory, there's no point in me carrying this wrench around. I mean, I suppose I could use a recycler grenade to suck it up. Yeah, that is an option, I suppose. Uh, I don't trust you. But there's only one of you, so it should be fine. And up here... Oh, somebody's used a glue gun here. Can we get inside? Here we go. Any duplicates? You're good. We get... To Poly Shield grants increased protection against physical damage and laser attacks. Backlash power has a chance to return damage to the attacker. Hey, oh, it's an advanced version. Okay, cool. Very cool. And the volunteer starts with the ability to install three. That's handy. A bit of armor. I will not say no to. Oh, and yeah, that as well. Got a Typhon Law fabrication plan. Not, not really bothered about that. Don't know if we're down there. Yeah, we were down there. Grab that. I think that was a duplicate fabrication plan, maybe? We already had it. Yeah, we already had it. That sounds oh god hello what are you doing buddy those things are actually my trial Stay run i came straight. right to that doorway module. that no. thing instantly killed me it is basically a mechanized recycler also can i borrow that box can you help me get up there fine i will glue but i'm not really happy about it hey neuromods thank you and with that I'm definitely going to get Backlash creates a shield, Super Thermal creates a trap, or just Kinetic Blast. Might go for just K-Blast, increase Psy, increase effectiveness of Psy Hypos, doubles the duration of well-fed and health gained by eating sea balls. Yeah, let's, let's do this. The sooner the better. Let's go for things that help me out in the long run more. And yeah, let's, let's go for K-Blast. Actually use a bit of that Psy. There we go. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, hello. Seriously? Buddy. There you go. Oh, okay, you fell and then you, you got up again, okay. You don't want to come closer? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't just break. Don't. Okay, you're not. Screw you. Going down to ground level? You can meet me down there. I'm offended by that. Yeah, come down here so you don't break when you hit the ground. Hello. Oof. He's sneaky. That should do it. Come on. Oh, come on, gang, gang. That's enough. Come on now. There you go. Thank you. Ah, so much glue I use there. So the pistol against those things don't do much. Down here? That's surprising. There's nothing down here. No more pistol ammo. And this, I guess, leads on to the next section. Ooh, what have you got? Disruptor? Ooh, okay. Now that's going to be handy against those operators. 
put you as number three and you as number four. And more neuro mods. What can you give me? Yeah, let's upgrade our Psy. And there is one Typhon left. I don't actually see it though. Oh, we'll go find it. And this thing, Typhon Gate workaround. Pro tip for you. I got stuck on the wrong side of a Typhon Gate the other day. Phantom almost ate my ass until I figured out I could zap the sensor with my stun gun. I guess we should tell engineering, but then they'd fix it. Interesting. Okay, so you can just skip the area if you don't want to do it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to clear it. Oh, there you are, buddy. Hey, you buddy. Cool. Sweet. So we've cleared this area. Of Typhon, at least. We've cleared it of Typhon. But still, let's go look around and get a bit more loot. Because right now, that is definitely keeping us alive. Man, I remember the late game of Prey. Just so much loot. More, more loot than we need. More loot than we can carry. Speaking of loot. Recycled grenade. Yeah, don't stand in front of that. That instantly killed me. Another broken area. We will have access to it later. Yeah, don't, don't go near me, buddy. And right, we came in here, didn't we? But we didn't loot that. Thank you. Anything else down here? Nope. Nothing on top. Nope. Now, we did miss the central area. That nope, we looted up there. Yeah, this is where the glue gun turret is and died. We haven't looted the central area. Because what is that Typhon that we ambushed? Yeah, the falls don't hurt me, is it? I hope. Yep, we're good. Now, where is that Typhon we killed? There you are, buddy. Thank you. Where the hell does this go? Are we going to have access to more areas at once? Oh, there's going to be loot around here, isn't there? Um, um, game? Oh, man, that was close. I don't see any loot down there. I'm not going to push it because I nearly got stuck. Yeah, I'm, 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 you know, I want loot. Uh, you know, we're, we're not really in this for the long haul. Win or lose, this won't last long. This is radiation. Oh, right. Okay, we'll pop that in a second. What's over here? Ballistic turret. More radiation. Um, let's grab something to throw. Although, screw it, we can just use a bit of glue. Though we don't have a huge amount of glue. We can use the darts as well. No, there, there are boxes right here. It's fine. Look, done. Hey, go fetch. Are you done? Yeah, you, you're done? Okay, cool. Fetch! Oh, that's why these little buggers can can fly. Can float. Because it's such low gravity, they can use whatever propulsion these little cystoids that they use in zero G to float as they would you know in, in zero G. Oh you're a turret. No, that's fine. So yeah, basically they can they can, you know, float and propel themselves as they would in zero G, because it's such low gravity. Okay, fair enough. I'll let them off the hook. And there is another nest down here. There. Okay. Go pop you. There you go. Cool. Thank you, cardboard box. Always handy. And what have we got? Ooh, okay. Engineering station. Um, yeah, make one. Go for it. Requesting new operator. And who are you? Take up. Yeah, I'll grab that. EMP fabrication plans. Engineering class operator. Ready to loot. Please stand clear of No room. Okay. Yeah, no room. Nothing to loot down here. Nope. Yeah, get rid of them. I learned a long time ago. Hey, uh, operator, this isn't the campaign. Inspector, so I do want to get you prepared leak. here. I'll patch that for you. Boy. Thank you. Power control, Pythonus Labs. But yeah, I was interested in the idea of a DLC where you'd go to explore. Let's see, turret. Where you go to explore the military station that the ships go to before heading to Earth. Glue gun, let's start dropping stuff. Glue gun, you can stay here and mark you as number four. Other wrench, you can stay here. I would love to find a replicator. Drop you there. Pistol is 73. Our pistol is 45. It's actually not bad. I definitely want my shotgun, though. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Reload. Okay, we've only got four shots. Okay. So, utilities. What we got? Area map. Thank you. I completely forgot we had a map. What? What? You, oh, you not repair that turret? It would be nice if you did. But don't worry about it. I guess it's fine. Escape pods. Check status. Escape pods. Crater pod is available. Pythaeus lab is empty. Moonworks is empty. Hazard report. Power levels. Everything is powered. Radiation levels. Everything is nominal. Oxygen levels. Everything's nominal. Fire hazards. No fire detected. Okay. Well, that's actually surprisingly good. Train status is operational. I'm stunned. Supply status. Trauma center. Storage room. Trauma center. Engineering. Annex. Okay. So I cannot believe most of the stuff in this in this damn it place is actually working. I'm I'm stunned. Okay. So we can go up to the command center, into the power control, 
or into Pythias Labs. We'll see where, how far we can get to here, if we can go in here at all. Nothing under the stairs. That old chestnut. Loot. Man, I need to find a recycler. Oh, hello. Control module. Receptacle. They're all lit green. I guess you do runs with other characters. More and more things are broken that need to be repaired. But no, this is actually all good to go. Don't need to fix anything. Wow. A game where everything is working? What madness is this? What about into Partheus Labs? All blocked off. I will have that. Disruptor ammo. Yep, blocked off. And head up to the command center. Loot. Hold on. Yeah, you're a broken operator. And I hear another broken operator over here. Yeah, there. I wonder if I could just boop you, to be honest. And a recycler. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God, what happened? I'm injured. Oh, no, I'm injured. What, what happened, then? No active statuses. Oh, so I'm fine. So that stun was just a temporary debuff that it did. Okay, well, and a, another turret that we can't repair. Sit repair kit, can we grab it? Yes, we can. Control module receptacle. All working. We'll get to that recycler in a second. And then you die here. Yep, I know, I know. Oh, God, oh, God. Where are you going, buddy? Attack! No, get back here! Whoa! You're not dead, I know that much. Okay, well, you can stay out there then. And what does it say? Volunteer test notes. Subject enters crater, 1459. Low light conditions, initial movement is tentative and uncertain. So, what are they, they monitoring? People like the, the character we're playing as right now going through this area. Typhon notices subject apparently 10 meters from airlock. Subject expires moments later due to standard attack via mouth and airway. Then next subject. So yeah, they're just monitoring volunteers coming through here. Wow. And speaking of coming through here, whenever you're ready, buddy, I'll put you out of your misery. That is Psy Hypo. Cool. And what else we got? Nope, that's it. No button to hit. We can go upstairs, I suppose. And there's that recycler over there. We'll use that in a second. Buddy. Oh, damn it. Okay, we'll actually tag you. Might be handy. Thank you. So I can keep my, my eye on you. Nothing underneath there. Nope. Yeah, no, come find me. And that just loops around. Anything on this side? No. Oh, actually, yes. Hello. Cool. Medkit. And I think it's about time we get some glue going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I need that. Nope, it's gone. Well, never mind. Okay, well... Oh god, that didn't work. There we go. And jump up. Oh god! Oh no! Oof. Come down here, buddy! Come down here! Gotcha. Okay. Okay, oof. Yeah, repair my suit, please. Inspecting. Your I'm good, aren't I? Yeah. Is wow. Let's head up. And let's try climb up. There we go. And can just jump that. There you go, okay. So anything up here? Yes, there is. Ooh, where'd that go? And what do you have? Radiation, pills. Ah, suit repair kit and ammo for the stun gun. That's 42% stun gun. What have we got? 48% stun gun. Well, you know what we can do? Leave that there for a second. Take the one that you've got and then leave this down there. Just so we have easier access of it. Where'd, where'd it go? No, not, not, not there. There we go, okay. Equip as number four, done. Nothing around here. Nothing else up here. Fair enough. And around here, a Psy Resistor. Okay, grab it. And you're a mod. Very, very nice. Wrench, don't need it. And a medkit will take it. Though, just, just drop the whole thing down there. There you go. Let's head down. So what is that Psy Resistor? Chipsets, Psy Resistor. Grants resistance to electric, ether, fire, and psychic damage. Wow, lucky finds. If this is anything like the vanilla game, these chipsets are actually randomized. Or at least most of them will be. And now that we're done with this area, finally let's use a recycler. And also, yeah, let's, um, wasn't there a wrench in here? Chuck that in there as well. There were weapons downstairs, weren't there? And a wrench, hmm. Yeah, we'll grab it. Here we go, wrench and glue gun. Sort, there you go, weapons up there. Grab the glue gun, we'll leave it upstairs. Although it is almost dead, isn't it? It's like 12% before it breaks. Yeah, we'll chuck it in. It's not like we're gonna come back here. Well, that stun gun's pretty good, 42%. So chuck that in and chuck that in. Okay then. 
control module. Where the... what? what, what? Fuse like component used to operate several periphery Transtar technologies including the Moon Base, Tram and Typhon Towers. Caution, Volatile produces strong EMP when damaged. Oh! So this is the thing that was set off when that operator attacked me, I'm guessing. Good to know. Anyway, recycle! God, I missed this! Give me that loot! Oh right, it's, it's lunar gravity. So it's actually falling much slower. Oh, uh, that's just, just not satisfying. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, let's head back to that other new area. Seems we've cleared this area out. And that is over there, I guess. Back skate pods, let's go. Down we go. A mimic. Where? Oh, hello. Wow, well, okay. <laughs> Boop ya. So is that everyone? It is. Let's go through. Okay, so we're on this escape pod objective. We're kind of reaching time here. But I don't know how far this goes. Nothing up here? Nope. Right, flashlight, torch, forgot about that. Yeah, it's not far at all, is it? Grab all this stuff. Ooh, another chipset. Governor. Increased duration of machine mind and mind jack abilities. Well, we don't have either of those, but just activate it for now. Nothing else down here? Nope. Whoa! Mimic! Hell... What? You know what? Screw you! Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> I should have really expected that. Uh, can't really afford to do this with the glue gun. Don't have a, a lot of glue. And we do certainly need it. Yeah, we don't even have enough to reload. So we've cleared underneath. In fact, no, there was a pathway down here, wasn't there? Yeah, where does that go? Oh, no, it just, just comes out here. Right, okay. Then, uh, are we done? No? It says the escape pod is 60 metres away. Oh, right, we don't have a psychoscope. Haha. <laughs> Um, oh, Corrupt Harvester, you're new. Hmm. Actually, no, don't, don't do that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Let's just have a look around then. And then decide what to do. So the escape pod Warning. is up there. Yep. Please evacuate in an orderly fashion. Uh-huh. Who are you? And what have you got? Random loot, that's fine. Actually, I need to, to track you. Can I? Thank you. Oh god, those things instantly kill, I think. Reset. Can I just kind of do this, maybe? Oh, Hello! Oh, 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 there you go. That was expensive. But definitely worth it, because those things, I think, instantly kill. So grab whatever you had. Which is quite a bit, actually. As well as one of those control modules. Oh, hello! Bring it on! Circuit. And down you go. Boop. Thank you. Oh, no more ammo for the electro gun. Store them over here. See, I might go a little bit over time if it means doing this run in one go. Grab that. What have you got? A bit of loot. 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 And also smash you. And in here, empty. Okay, well that's this area clear. Unless there's something on top or in here. Nope. And nope. Don't see anything up there. Oh, hello. Shotgun. 50%. 40%. Not enough space. Okay, well, let's drop that and take that one. Set it as number three. And climb up here. If I can. Nothing up there. Okay. Move on. So we've kind of cleared this place out. Kind of. But so far, I haven't really found much story um, pertaining to what the hell happened here. To the moon base and how it relates to prey. That leads up... Let's not go up yet. Around here, I'm guessing it just loops around. Oh, maybe not. That loops around, but this goes to a, I don't know, a fueling station? Which would make sense. So do we need to activate anything? Maybe don't blow it up, might be a good idea. Nothing back there. You're not on. Loop that. Empty. It looks all good. Okay then, let's move on. And head up. we clear this ground floor. Oh, hello. Come on then, buddy, head down here. Well, I'll just go up and grab you. It's fine. Damn, can't, can't reach. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Should have tracked you, actually. I should, I should have tagged you. That was a rookie mistake. Probably not a good idea to stand next to these guys. What do you have? Oh, uh, just random junk. Let's, let's recycle whatever we can. And grab that. And that. And then recycle that. There you are. Gotcha. Low gravity loot. 
That is the staircase leading down. Any loot over here? No. And no. Yes. Hello. Well, I suspect this is where the this volunteer's journey ends. This escape pod. With each subsequent character having more to do in their run. And having access to more areas. Okay, we need to clear this area. I think it's a shotgun shell. Yep, maybe. Come on, buddy. Boom. No typhoon detected. Whoa, that was a bit odd. Well, that's cool. Guess I'm not looting you. I mean, I could, but it doesn't really seem worthwhile. I suppose, besides looting that, doesn't seem to be anything up there. But we just go. Yeah, no typhoon in range. Yeah, this escape pod. Let me in. Come on. Want to get out of here? Want to get for this crazy ride? Okay, so that's the objective for the volunteer done. Let's head home. Skill door. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that might, might make sense. Yeah. Close the door. And then eject. Hey, hey! And away we go. Escaping the moon. Congratulations, you've escaped the Pythaeus moon base with one Tramstar crew member. Eventually, you'll want to unlock all five crew members and discover all five escape routes. Escaping more than once in the same run yields increasingly larger sim points rewards. Your ultimate goal is to escape with all crew members in one go without resetting the simulation. Good luck. So I'm guessing once you've unlocked all five crew members and you escape with one, you can then start over with another crew member and the area becomes more difficult. Then you escape with that crew member, then the area becomes more difficult again then you escape with that crew member and so on and so on until you escape with all five so it's actually a really cool idea cool so as far as i'm aware we cleared everything i'm sure we've got something no doubt but yeah we we um cleared all the areas that we had access to we killed all the enemies we had, we had access to we didn't skip anything so awesome we unlocked the engineer joan wilson and that's it i guess continue you have a new incoming message from Basilisk. Extend simulation. Did that say Basilisk completed to or Chiasma Module 13. Copy, please. Repeating. Basilisk to Chiasma Module 13. Copy, please. Uh, yeah, hi. Ah, uh, you're okay. Congratulations. It seems the simulation is significantly corrupted, but scans of your brain tomography indicate no damage. The corruption appears to be limited to the host operator. No externalization, so you should be fine. Uh-huh. We've transmitted an app that should help track the simulation's instability. Please install it immediately so you're not caught unaware again. Basilisk out. Okay then. No objective. Utility. Install. Installation allows for tracking of system stability while in the sim. This executable is flagged as high priority. Please install before re-entering the sim. Boop. Stability track. Just a reminder to install the... Uh, yeah. we, we got it, we got it. Let's head in. Okay. New crew member. So this is Joan Wilson. Starts with a wrench, spare parts. Has access to most of the human augment tree and a few Typhon augments as well. And I believe it says key abilities repair, summon turret and machine mine. So she can actually summon a turret. And, you know, obviously repair them as well. So the other ones are Riley Yu, who has Mimic Matter, Phantom Genesis, and Mind Jack. <laughs> yep, Riley Yu is definitely the pet master. The security officer is firearms, all human, tech tree, start with a shotgun and everything. Firearms, toughness, and combat focus, so bullet time. And then the custodian, Claire Witten, who I'm guessing is the final one we unlock, doesn't start with anything at all. No abilities, no access to abilities, no items, so that'd be quite interesting. So, yeah, the volunteer is done, escaped. We have access to Joan, Riley. We will unlock when we grab the psychoscope at the top of the Pythaeus labs, which we didn't have access to as the volunteer. It was all blocked off, not corrupted, just caved in. And the security officer will have access to when we find his corpse, as you know, the, the other characters we can choose. All right, the custodian. Complete the security officer's story. So basically have him escape. 
So find the psychoscope, find the security officer's corpse, and then complete the security officer's story. Okay, well guys, that is it. That is the end of the quick look of Prey Moon Crash. I'm actually very pleased I didn't die, considering how badly I did in my little trial runs. I was setting up the, the controls and everything like that. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it and you actually want to see me do more playthroughs of it, let me know in the comments below and I will consider it. If nothing else, what I might do is unlock all the characters and then try to do as the game suggested, try to play through as each character sequentially without dying after, as I said, I've got all of them unlocked. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys. If not, thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really helps out the channel and let anybody else else enjoy it as well and i will see you guys back here next time for maybe another quick look or in another video thank you very much for watching guys and bye bye everyone bye bye hello one and all mickey here and welcome to prey i am absolutely in love with this game if you enjoyed deus ex 1 or system shock 2 then you'll know exactly what this game is like it's a shooter of sorts that thrives on problem solving whether it's clear and obvious solutions like get this skill hack that door to the more obtuse solutions